Can 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 you hear me? Yes, we can hear you, but I'm gonna give him some headphones. Okay, yeah, give him some headphones so he can he can hear everything clearly. Uh, but uh, but everybody, so uh, you know, in, I assume that you guys, I know, I can see you guys love Dr. Anderson so much, and and uh, you all know, uh, I give him tremendous credit for so many of the things that that I do, and it's it's great to get a chance to see him, and and, and uh, always an honor. Uh, and so, Dr. Anderson, um, uh, first and foremost, I I, I want to say to the students. Uh, if you have any questions uh, for Dr. Anderson, uh, please put your questions in. I see that you've you've greeted uh, Dr. Anderson. Uh, first and foremost, I ask Dr. Anderson, how you doing today, my friend? Oh, I'm hanging on like most black folk in the country right now. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, I, I hear you. Um, you know, it's uh, you know, so so what do you think? Uh, let, let's let's just start with the the present. Um, what do you think this that's happened with Black America, say, in the last, um, you know, eight years uh, since we've had our first Black president? Um, you know, have we improved at all as a community as a result of that? No, you haven't. As a matter of fact, you're deteriorating. As, as uh, the Obama administration has done more bad than they've done good for Black folk, they simply prioritized a, a whole new flock. Of uh, fabricated immigrant groups and minority groups that are putting them over black folk. And black folk now are suffering acutely under what a public policy called benign neglect and political correctness. It started out as benign neglect back in the 19, late 1960s, and it's morphed into political correctness, and political correctness means uh, absolutely hateful indifference to black folk. And nobody's going to speak up for black folk, or very few blacks will speak up for black folk. And, uh, and solely try to represent them politically and economically in this country. We're in a world of trouble. And the biggest thing that Obama has done is injurious to black folk, the mere fact that he, is, that he was publicized as being a black president. He's not a black president. He's an African-American. He's not a black American. There's a distinct difference between an African-American and a black American. And he does not understand, fully understand the nature of black folks' sole unique experiences in this country. And, uh, and that's, that, that's, gonna, that's a damaging black folk. And when he leaves his office, if he doesn't, doesn't do something in the next year, this particular year is coming up, to specifically change and modify the massive influx of immigrants over black folks that subordinate them, try to redistribute some resources in the hands of black folk. Black folk are going to be buried alive. And uh, for quite, uh, Hispanics are already outnumbered black folk in the political arena. And in about another 15 years, Asians are going to get together and, and, and outnumber black folks. So black folk are going to be pushed out from being second-class citizens in the 1900s. And by the 2000, they became third-class citizens. These Asians are going to make black folks fourth-class citizens. And Obama's going to bear a lot of burdens for that because what he's doing now is legitimizing nothing is for black folk in this country. He's going to wind up, going to wind up being Clarence Thomas in the White House. Mm. Well, 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 you know, um, I can't say I disagree with you. I think that the I think that it's interesting that the Obama presidency, um, as much symbolism as there was, it seems that there was there, it was a lot of it was built on an illusion that, that uh, you know, now we sort of set the bar so low that when you get a white person in the White House, um, how can you go and ask the white person more than you ask your black president for? Um, and I think that that's that's the issue for, for me. I, I don't think who is whoever's in the White House has really made a difference for black folks. Um, well, that, that, and that, that's going to be the handicap for black folk. White folk will say, well, uh, Obama didn't do the thing for you black folk in, in eight years. Why should I do the thing for you? Mm, and so consequently, we're going to be abandoned, obsolete labor force for the rest of our existence. And we're going to be locked into a permanent underclass position. If somebody doesn't do something helpful for black folk and bring black folk up and say black folk are exceptional people in this country, that they are totally unlike any other people in this country. And they must be treated differently from anybody else in this country. Blacks are the only non-immigrants, Dr. Watkins. They're the only non-immigrants in this country. Everybody else comes in as immigrants. They get benefits, and everything's been turned upside down and backwards. See, black folk are really the Native Americans in this country. They're the people who should be getting the first-class treatment in this country. All the other people who come to this country are immigrants. They came here looking for unearned benefits. And when they put it back in the, into a slavery, they came here looking for what they call the American dream. The American dream means let's go to America and get free land and free black labor. And now that that's over, now they're still coming for unearned benefits. I don't care whether it's preferential treatments or it's affirmative action or it's 887 sites or getting governmental assistance or different kind of programs that set up specifically for immigrants. They get benefits. Black people are the only people that systematically, conscientiously, and uh, historically have been denied any help uh, by, from anybody. And all these so-called <laughs> fabricated minorities 
are all the products and descendants of slaveholders in this country. I don't care whether you talk about every gender group, every ethnic group, every racial group, every religious group, every handicapped group, every transsexual group. They've all exploited and taken advantage of black folk. Nobody stood up for black folk. And you got all these black leaders right now all over the country that are looking out for everybody but black folk, and that's the disadvantage. And I don't know how if black folk are going to do something in the next this year, they can forget and hang it up.